Hey everybody, welcome back to the Best Coin News Channel on YouTube. I'm Son of a Silver Stacker. Today's date is April 7, 2024, and we're trying to get to a bazillion subs, so don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Now over here to moneymetals.com, gold ended the week at 2340.50, silver at 27.68, platinum at 941.05, and palladium at 1041.55. Double nickels right there. Now you're looking at an in stock American Silver Eagle whose premium is $8.19, and you're going to get out of there of a, well, let's see, a quantity of 1 through 39. For thirty-five dollars eighty-seven cents, and they're going to buy those back for twenty-nine forty-three. There you go. Now over here to the bullion page at the United States Mint. Yep, no new tell to tell whatsoever, and um, I think we are well going to be having some kind of Groundhog Day where we're going to see caps caps on our American Silver Eagles, especially at a time when the American public will need them. Maybe not just the American public, right? Because it's a global trade. Now, here we go. This is the Google machine, and I just wanted to give a quick heads up. And I put gold and China, and there's something going on here. Last 17 months, says China, People's Bank of China buys gold for the 17th month in a row as prices hit records. So China's still buying as we hear hitting all-time highs for gold. That must mean that they know something. And uh, let's see here. What's behind China's gold buying spree? Let's play dumb, shall we? That's Deutsche World, I think, is what that is. Um, yep, let's see here. Let's see here. What's next for gold? Look to China for clues. That was two weeks ago. Well, what's China doing? Well, yeah, buying gold for the 17th month in a row. That was a month ago. A month ago, two hours ago, China's people, uh, People's Bank of China buys gold for 17 months as prices hit record. There we go. So what does that tell you? And honestly, folks, I think a lot of us are going to have to have some... Um, deep soul searching going on and we're gonna have to make a lot of decisions coming up and um, I would do your own due diligence a lot of people are going to be telling you this way that way and the other way and um, you know telling you to do this or telling you to do that financially or even economically or even whatever you might want to do your own due diligence I'm not telling you what to do I'm just saying educate yourself right so that and think about it now so that when it does happen, you don't have to think about it. You've already thought about it, and you know what direction to take, right? Yeah, pre-planning. All right, let's go to the fun stuff. Here we are. This is the April 8th release. That's tomorrow, and you've probably already been charged. This is the American Innovation Coin featuring the state of Alabama and that Saturn V rocket. Let's get to it. Now, this is the Google machine again, 2024 American Innovation featuring the state of Alabama. And this was a day ago here out of Coin Week and then out of Way 31. That was three days ago. And then Huntsville represented on the Hville Blast three days ago. Five days ago, KXAN out of Austin. Yep, they're talking about it. And then here, that was back in December, right? That's how long ago they're talking about how awesome this coin is. And that's on space.com. And a lot of folks collect space coins, right? Or rocket coins or ones with uh, spheres on them called planets or uh, terrestrial bodies. Yeah, that. Alabama's innovation that was two weeks ago, three week, three days ago, Hoodline. U.S. Mint launches sale for Alabama. So you get the point here. It's big deal. Five days ago, three days ago, three months ago, four months ago. So we've been talking about this for at least a quarter of the year. And I don't think we've talked about the Alabama, or at least the Illinois uh, coin as much as we are looking at this beauty right here. I really do believe this is going to be a stunner. My, It's one of my favorites out of the American innovation coins for this uh, year. And not only the year, in the program itself. Now, my other favorites are the Massachusetts Telephone Coin, which is amazing. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's right. Stunner. In fact, uh, I'll show you that one here in a second if you're not familiar with it. Now, okay, here we go. And this is basically why. I, I, all right. What you're looking at here is the American Innovation $1 coin rolls in bags out of Alabama. However, you're looking at the Denver bag. All right. It's a 100-coin bag. And they're going to charge you $17.50 to get a $100 bag, right? Because you're going to get the $100 back, right? But it's just going to sit there. Now, you could take these coins and distribute them amongst um, your community and see how far they get or not. doesn't matter. I did that in uh, the city of St. Augustine. with uh, I bought a bag of the Ohio dollars, and I distributed that in the city of St. Augustine, America's oldest city. And, uh, yep. Gave them out to uh, teachers, the homeless, uh, businesses. And that's a really fun thing to do to see how far those quarters, or at least these dollars, can get. Now, let's keep on keeping on here. This is probably, like I said, it's, it's yeah, top four, five, maybe top two of my favorite uh, coins designed for the American Innovations. I really love that. I love the, uh, the banjo dollar as well. That's amazing. 
Now, here we go. This is a product. It's 117.50. I said that's April 8th. That's tomorrow at noon. And check this out. Um, I do want to show you if I go back to select product. And this has been pretty consistent here for a few years now, or maybe a couple years, that the Denver Mint has not been able to keep up the output as much as the Philadelphia Mint. But the Philadelphia Mint is the main mint, all right? That's where all of the action happens, and all the designs happen, and the striking of the metals, and so on and so forth. But here we go. Look at this. 24 GRB has 8,400. That's the Philadelphia. But look at this. For 1,100 less... You're looking at 24 GRF at 7350, and it continues on with the rolls as well. Look at that, 3150 out of Philadelphia, and then, well, that's the bag. 3150 out of Philadelphia for the bag, and then 2950 for the, that's right, the Denver bag. So I'll be purchasing the both rolls for this one, and, yes, indeed, and the bag and now you're probably wondering why i'm passing out the or at least not i won't be passing out the bag this time around i'm probably going to save it because it is a very sweet coin and I, look i'll show you real quick here you won't even believe your eyes yeah there you go that's the massachusetts american innovation dollar and that's a hundred coin bag and it's only from one mint and it's philadelphia and they want two thousand four hundred ninety five dollars and ten cents now there's a maryland philadelphia thousand dollars there you go eight forty seven fifty nine seven ninety seven thirty eight and you're probably going stacker these are just what people ask and this isn't what realized sales are all right well let's go to realized sales shall we hey look at that sold february 27 that's a mint bag that's 100 coins for 550 dollars there you go and i do have it highest first right oh yeah that that's our last name right there bam that number or that anyway this is zip code five not forty nine ninety five see squirrel uh, 425, 299, and so on. Look at that, 279 for a P and D from Louisiana. That was just last year's coins, right? So they're 117 each, 117. You're looking at 235, 240. Yeah, they didn't make too much, but really, you hold on to them, and, and, and it's the 2020, folks. Now, 2020 products from the United States Mints are, well, you know it was the pandemic year, and they just so happened to be a little bit more highly coveted than just your regular every old run-of-the-mill year. I mean, that was a different, that was a tough year for the United States Mint. And most of the products from that year are, well, they're pretty valuable. Uh, I know the uncirculated Mint set and only had 211,000, and that was a really low number. Um, and now we're obviously below that. But still, um, that was the really the start of the super-duper low numbers, um, and that was 211,000. And it continued on to the proof sets and the silver proof sets and so on and so forth. So let's keep on back to the product. Yes, we go here. In the United States Mint, American Innovation $1 coin program is a multi-year series. Now, it started in 2018, and it goes until 2032, and it honors innovation and innovators with $1 coins from each state, District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, Guam, America, Samoa, U.S. Virgin Islands, and the Northern Mariana Islands. The American Innovation $1 coin in the rolls and bags were minted at the Philadelphia and Denver mints. The Alabama coin is the second issuance of 2024. Now, the Alabama American Innovation coin reverse, that's the tails. This is what it's all about. Depicts the power and force of the Saturn V rocket lifting off with the moon in the background. And it's too bad they don't have this thing just kind of scroll down as we're reading so that we can look at it while we're talking about it. Included in the descriptions are United States of America, Saturn V, and Alabama. All right, the obverse, that's the head. Design features a dramatic representation of the Statue of Liberty and profile with the inscriptions in God We Trust and $1. And also includes a privy mark of a stylized gear. That's right. So it does have a privy mark, but really, um, does it, does it, I, I, this, I think, I love the, um, all the negative space and I love the Statue of Liberty, but didn't the, uh, another program have the Statue of Liberty on the obverse? Wasn't it the presidential dollars? So, yeah, it, it's kind of like when the, um, you know, the Susan B. Anthony was made and they, they remember when they stuck the, uh, the reverse of the, uh, yeah, you know, the one with the moon on the back, right? Yeah. Mm. Didn't try too hard on that one, did they? Now, it kind of feels like that sometimes, but at least I got the stylized gear. But honestly, I think for me, this program, it, you know, it's not necessarily about the obverse it's about that reverse and it's about each and every single american's contribution to this country's history and the progress that this country has made um, amongst its peers in the world now let's keep on keeping on bam there we go did you get one of these yet nope because they are not available or remind me now you can find the candy like shiny red button right here for the 2022 collector board and the 2023 collector board for the American Women Quarters. However, um, this one that was recently added 
it does not have the shiny candy like red button and that is the 2024 collector red button and look zikala shah celia cruz dr mary edwards walker honorable patty takamoto mink and the reverend dr paulie murray that's the 2024 set folks and do you have all of these you know wouldn't it be cool to kind of put them in a shadow box with each one of these quarters yeah wouldn't that be awesome anyway let's keep on keeping on i've yammered for way too long this is the plus one action this is a proverb 2022 20, say not i will repay evil wait for the lord to help you and i believe what that means is that you know this wouldn't require what doesn't require patience right so this does require patience but it is a wise course of action because the lord will always take care of his own that's right bam now let's go here to 39599.9 koi and coin news radio this is soundgarden black hole sun yeah and it's probably maybe i guess maybe a uh i guess an homage to the eclipse tomorrow Pretty freaky video. If you haven't seen it before, you might want to put your seatbelt on before you watch it or some blinders. It's pretty weird, but uh, definitely is making a statement. Now, with that said, I want to thank you all for coming. Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you do like what you hear and see, hey, sub the channel. It is free. We're trying to get to a bazillion subs, and uh, that way we can open up the Stacker store. So, with that said, thanks, folks. Y'all have a great rest of your day. Stacker out.